Well, hello there and welcome back, you lovely lot. Well, we're going to do a little nail tip 3D flower nail art. And we're going to be using liquid chrome. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is come in on a nail tip and I'm going to use a white acrylic. This acrylic is Snow White from CJP. And the first thing I'm going to do is my 3D flower. So to get the look that we need today, I need a couple of back petals. So I need the petals here to be flat, 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 really, really flat and then a bit of shape. So as always, and you've seen me do this before, pop down my bead, wait for it to go matte and then manoeuvre it into shape and flatten it down with the belly of that brush. I'm using the Kirsty Meekin 3D brush today and all of this is in real time. So I pop my bead down, I'm going to move it slightly into place either side and then once it's matte I'm going to press it with the belly of my brush. I want it nice and thin and flat. Trying to get a bit of shape as well. Now I can't get my point, there's not quite enough acrylic on there, so I'll come in with a really small bead and I will blend that in and use it to get the shape of that petal that I want. Then I'm going to come in with my next bead and I'm going to slightly overlap the first petal that I put down. So again, manoeuvre it into the sort of shape I want. Now I'm going to do two this sort of shape, but I'm only going to show you this one. What I'll do is this one and then I'll do another one next to it to join those two together. But you've already seen me do, this will be the third petal, so I don't want to bore you. So because this is more forward petal, I am going to lift those sides still going to keep it flat but I want it to look realistic so I'm going to with the point of my brush just lift those edges just slightly random places so it looks really realistic when we've finished give it a bit of texture then I do the one to join those and then I'm coming in with the final petal and this is going to have a fold on it so I wait for it to come out, push it into the shape that I want. I'm going to keep the left hand side straight and I'm going to make it round and more bulbous on the right hand side. Bring that point up. Then I'm going to start working on the fold. So I'm going to bring that in, tuck my brush in so that that petal folds over. That's the look that I'm going for here. And I'm going to come in with a really small bead and where that fold is I'm going to give it a lip really really tiny bead and I'm going to give it some shape and I'm going to give it a little lip to sit flat onto that nail so that it comes up and round still keeping that fold in place and then we need to let that set and there we are, that's your Fleedy 3D flower. Now we're coming in with liquid chrome. Now I did a nail mail haul with these, so I will link that above and you can go and check them out. This is not chrome powder. This was around long before chrome powder came. And it is a liquid, it air dries. So really, really thinly, I'm going to paint the tip with this silver chrome and then using an old nail art brush, I'm going to put that liquid chrome right up to that 3D acrylic powder, but I don't want to go over it. This is going to be my background. 
like I said, it does air dry, so on a palette, put a really, really small amount. And then I'm working that product into those small spaces. You can't go over what you've already put down because it will lift it off because it's so thin. See, it's happened there, look. So I pat it on. I'm not too bothered at this stage because this is only the first layer. I will come in with a second layer in a minute. At the side of me is a bowl of water. I will wash off my brush. And then I'm coming in with my second liquid chrome. This is pink. I'm just going to fill in the bulk of the flower. I have taken as much of the liquid off that brush as I can. I do not want it to run into that silver. And then I'm going to use my little brush again. And I'm going to come around the edge. And I'm going to colour in that acrylic flower that we did making sure I get all the way round where the silver meets the white acrylic. I don't want to see any white. So I'm being really careful. Picking up a little bit at a time. Just patting that onto, brushing it where it's in the middle. But like I said, it is a liquid, so I have to be careful with it, making sure it doesn't run anywhere. Then when I've done this and I am happy, you do have to leave this to completely dry. And that depends on how thick it is, but it does say on the packet that it dries in four minutes. But that is with a really, really thin coat. If you went in and this was still wet, all you'd do is pull it off or get wrinkles in it. So I'm going to go in and do exactly the same, giving it a second coat. I went out of shot here, so I've had to move the camera angle slightly. I was trying to just get put it up as close as I can, getting me head to it as close as I can without going on the pink and vice versa with the pink flower. So you can see me, it's coming closer and closer to my body. <laughs> and then making sure that obviously I don't get my big fat head in the way. If you can hear that, that's the wind outside. It's extremely windy today. I've got the window open because it's still muggy. So again, I will completely cover this with the pink liquid chrome and then I need to leave this to set. And it will dry, like I said, in approximately four minutes depending on how thick it is. So there we have our second coat. Looks much better, doesn't it? Once that's completely dry, I'm then coming in with top coat and I'm just going to top coat the back, so the silver in this. Now I have been told, I don't know, but I have been told that not all top coats work with the liquid chrome. It does actually come with its own top coat, but I use CJP Top Gloss and it worked absolutely fine. I believe Halo works fine, so if you have that top coat as well. But I can only tell you what I use. I use this and it worked fine. What happens with top coats that don't work is it, uh, it shades so you can get dark bits and light bits on the chrome. So, as you can see, I've got my headphones on. I'm listening to my music and I'm just playing around with the nail art. That's all I'm doing. And what I'm doing here is the shading. Now, you don't want black. Black would be too harsh with this bright, shiny chrome. So I'm coming in with brown and all I'm doing here is the shading. 
So where the flower would lift and cause a shadow, that's what I'm doing. So I'm going in with the brown on my detailer brush and I'm just going to pop in, get that little bit off before it dries. And then once I'm happy with that, I will put that in the lamp for a full cure. And I'm coming in with white and this is where I'm going to do my highlights. I'm also going to put in some detail with the white. This is where we're going to make the flower more realistic. So where the sun would catch the petals on the flower, that's where I'm going to highlight. The details will be the small strokes that I made with the 3D brush when I put my flowers on to get my lines in those petals. I'm just going to highlight those. Again, once I'm happy, pop that in for a full cure. With a dotting tool, I'm coming in with the brand. I'm going to do a couple of dots in the middle of that flower to give it a centre. And then we're just going to add some details around the flower. So with a striping brush, I'm going to do a couple of lines at the top, a couple of lines at the bottom, some wispy bits. Then I'm going to come in with a dotting tool and I'm just adding now some pretty just to fill the gaps of that nail. Flash cure it in between once you're happy. Then guys, that's the end of this nail art play today. So there we have it guys. That's the end of this little nail art tip. I really do hope you've enjoyed it. If this is something that you'd like to see more of, then please let me know below. Or if your preference is the full set designs, then again, please leave me a comment. I will be practicing. It's whether or not I actually get my camera out and share it with you. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you all for watching today. If you've enjoyed this little nail play, then please hit that thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed already, I would absolutely love it if you would. Keep safe, guys. And until next time, bye.